Yo, what's going on guys? Today I want to bring you the second part of the Toxic Rain build guide for patch 3.16. So last one was about the endgame and this one is gonna be about the leveling. So in Path of Building I did include the notes for the every single step in the campaign and even before even starting leveling. And in the skill section you can see progression of your gems. And the way I made it is, this is in the priority list, so for example Caustic Arrow is the most important one during the beginning, so it's more important than Dash, and the one that is the least important is Burning Arrow. And it's the same for the links, so in Caustic Arrow setup the Mirage Archer is more important than Pierce. So if you only have a tooling, just remove the Pierce. So what you should do even before starting leveling. The first thing is setting up your filters. So I will make my own filters and I will link them in my Discord, but it will be pretty late, most likely like in one hour before the leak start because filters are usually not updated until pretty much beginning of the leak, so they will be made right before the leak start. And the reason why you want your filter uh, for leveling is the way your Toxic Rain and Caustic Arrow are dealing damage, you are gonna mo most of the time shoot the monsters and leave them behind you and let them die to damage over time. Because of that, you will not see even the loot and for a lot of gems to be able to buy them, you will need transmutation orbs and alteration orbs. So during one of my testing runs, I didn't have my filter set up and I was struggling with my transmutation orbs like a lot. I wasn't able to buy any gems and that's mostly because of a filter. And then next run I did set up my filter and I had a lot of transmutation orbs. So the run was much smoother. So you really need some kind of sound cue for the transmutation and alteration orbs so you know when they drop and you can go back to pick them up. The second one is copy this into your clipboard and thanks to that you will be able to search for the green 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 link blue green green every version of uh, that free link and an N is for runner boots which is for movement speed boots so when you're gonna finish your first zone the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to dark light and you're gonna get the quest reward and you're gonna take the Caustic Arrow, which is gonna be the right most gem from what I remember. And you're gonna go purchase items and here you're gonna paste this. And you're gonna search for the free links and runner boots. So as you can see there is no good free link. So you would just go Farewell. and start clearing and then later on you would go back Farewell. and search again. Farewell. So you will need two free links, the green, green, green and green, green, blue. And the more important one for the beginning is the one with green, green, green. Because you will want to have Caustic Arrow, Mirage Archer and Pierce, all of them are green. So after you take your Caustic Arrow, you're gonna remove your Burning Arrow from your bow and put in Caustic Arrow and you're gonna use Caustic Arrow plus Pierce for clearing. And if you find the item with one green socket, you're gonna put Burning Arrow back. Then you're gonna finish the coast, you're gonna go to Mudflats, you're gonna finish the quest and enter Submerged Passage, take a waypoint and go back to Tidal Island, finish the quest over there and go back to town. And once you back in, are back in town, you're gonna take the Quicksilver Flask from uh, Nessa from the quest reward. And then from the second quest reward, you're gonna take Mirage Archer and put it in your free link if you have a free link. Welcome. And then again you're gonna check for the free link uh, at the Dark Light and for the quest rewards you're gonna take Dash and Stay Puncture. Sharp. And again Dash is more important than Puncture and Puncture is better than Burning Arrow. Then you're gonna just uh, continue go to the submerged passage, ledge, climb prison, then you're gonna go back to submerged passage if you left a portal there and do flooded depths 
And when you are fighting bosses, so for example at Flood of Depths you're gonna fight the Dweller, the Puncture is gonna deal a lot of damage, so the way you fight him is you're placing uh, Caustic Ground with Caustic Arrow, and then shoot him with Puncture and then just run away, because the target that is bleeding is taking more damage if it's moving, so you want to make him move so he takes more damage from your Puncture. And Mirage Archer is gonna be applying Caustic Ground and also in the meantime you can shoot with Burning Arrow. So that's how you fight Dweller. And then you're gonna go to prison, uh, finish your lab trial and then go kill Brutus. And after Brutus you go back again, you check for the frailing and for the quest reward you're gonna take Smoke Mine. And then you're gonna go to Nessa, and if you have one transmute, buy Withering Step. And if you if you have two, also buy Vitality. And then you use your Smoke Mine instead of your uh, Dash for mov moving. And you go up to Ship Graveyard, you do the quest with the Pirate. And by the way, in the cave, the boss is actually pretty hard right now. Mm, you have to avoid his freezing ability, but the most important thing is just picking up the quest uh, item and then you can just die. It doesn't matter too much. And then you go to Mervel Caverns and you take the waypoint and you go back to the city, turn in quest and at that point you're gonna take from the quest reward from Nessa, Toxic Rain. And then you're gonna buy Blast Chain Mine and Swift Assembly. And you're gonna put that in your third link. If you don't have a third link, probably just use two link, so Blast Chain Mine and Swift Assembly. So you will need, well, not Swift Assembly, Blast, Ch Blast Chain Mine with Toxic Rain. So you will need a two link, one green, one uh, blue. God hasn't abandoned us. And the way you're gonna yes? be using your mines, so let me show you right now. Toxic Rain, Blast Chain Mine and Swift Assembly. Because mines deal a lot of damage, but you have to play correctly with them. So it's this one. So you're gonna throw your mines Wait until you get 15 stacks, then you're gonna detonate them, and then you're gonna keep pressing your mines until they're gonna stop detonating. Because they deal more damage, uh, the more you, the longer is the chain of explosion of them. And somewhere in between, you also want to press the withering step. So you place 15, the boss uh, is gonna start taking damage once you detonate them. You press the withering step, for example, and you keep detonating even more. Okay, and in the meantime you can shoot Caustic Arrow, so your Mirage Archer can start shooting with uh, Caustic Arrow also. So after you kill the Merveil, you go to Act 2, you go to the top, finish the Chamber of Sins, and then you can take Skitter bots and Blood Rage. Blood Rage is gonna be from the quest reward, so you don't really have to include it in your setup if you don't have links for it. This is the least important uh, socket, but it's pretty nice for some attack speed and frenzy charges. And you will need to buy Skitter bots from the vendor for one alteration, I believe. Then you go to do the crypt and then you go to do the quest in Broken Bridge. So you have to kill the mini boss over there. And at that point it is really nice to use smoke mine for defense. So when you are fighting the boss again you're gonna place your mines and then detonate the chain. And in the meantime you also want to place your smoke mine because it's gonna cre create the uh, smoke cloud which is gonna blind enemies and that's pretty nice for survivability it is getting nerfed but it's still gonna be really nice to be able to survive so you're gonna kill the guy over here and then you're gonna go to riverways uh, western forest and you're gonna kill the weaver 
and in western forest you're gonna kill Alira and you're gonna do the quest and go back to Act 1 and finish the quest for V1 skill point. Uh, after you kill the Weaver, you're gonna go to Wetlands, kill Oak, so you're killing all three of the bandits, and you just continue your way until you kill the Act 2 boss. And in Act 3, you want to start checking for four rings. So every single time you are in town, you can talk to this guy. And again, you can type this, so it's filtering items a bit better for your uh, colors, but you still have to check for forwarding yourself. So for example, this time I didn't have, you didn't find any of them. And if you find a forwarding, you're gonna include vicious projectile in your uh, toxic rain. So let me show you. Toxic rain, blast rain, sweet assembly, and vicious projectile. And the same for caustic arrow. You're gonna include your vicious projectiles. And depending on which four link you find first, either one with uh, four green, you're gonna have a caustic arrow uh, four link. Or if you find one with uh, one blue and three greens, you're gonna go for blast chain. Mine setup with toxic rain, and I would say probably toxic rain for single target is more important to get first. Then after you do, you do quest uh, where you have to kill piety first time, you're gonna take the quest reward despair, and you're gonna be able to cast your despair curse for every single boss, just so you have even more single target damage. And if you can can find a free link at that point, you can also do a Toxic Rain, Ballista Totem, Void Manipulation, and even with a 4-link Vicious Projectile setup. So you would place your Ballista Totems at the start of the fight, then you would place your Mines and just continue fighting with your uh, Mines. And also in the meantime you cast Despair and Withering Step. After you complete your last lab trial in Imperial Gardens, then you're gonna do your lab. You don't have to do lab immediately. I would say you would want at least 520, maybe 50 life, and around 50% of all of your resistances, and then you're gonna do the lab. So if you don't have uh, that, just save it for later. You can even do it in Act 4. And after you do your lap, you're gonna take the Rapid Assault, so for, to get your Onslaught. And Onslaught gives you attack and movement speed. So because of that, this is not affecting your mines, but it's really nice for just your attacks. So you will want to replace your mine setup at that point, so you, so you remove your Blast Chain and Swift Assembly. And you just use Toxic Rain, Mirage Archer, Vicious Projectiles, and Void Manipulations for the best single target. And you're gonna start shooting uh, Toxic Rain yourself on the bosses. And also what I like to do at that point, for my clear, I remove Mirage Archer from Caustic Arrow because I'm using it for Toxic Rain. And I am using Caustic Arrow with Arrow Nova, Pierce, and Vicious Projectile. And you can buy Arrow Nova in Act 1. And this is gonna help your clear a lot. And the way you're gonna clear is you're, is you're gonna shoot Toxic Rangers from time to time to activate your Mirage Archer. And in the meantime, you're gonna attack with Caustic Arrow. You can also try using Mirage Archer for Caustic Arrow instead of, for example, Pierce or Vicious Projectile. But uh, from testing, I think this is the best setup. Because Vicious Projector is gonna help with uh, damage a little bit and Pierce with clearing. Then you're just gonna finish the Act uh, 3 and Act 4. There isn't really anything happening in Act 3. The only thing I want to mention at that point is you really want to have your Lightning Res cap when you are fighting Dominus. It's gonna help with your, especially actually, damage a lot because if you have Lightning Res, you can just stand in front of Dominus and you don't have to avoid his lightning attacks and you, you can just 
continue attacking him. And you also want to have decent amount of fire and cold rest for the piety. Uh, cold rest is really nice for the lab also. And the way you can boost your resistances uh, is through the craft. So every single transmutation orb and every single item that has a free suffix you can put in here and you can craft one of the resistances for one transmutation orb. You can craft 16 to 20 lightning res, I mean any res, on every single item. So this is how you can cap your resistances early on. And after you finish Act 4, so this is actually still in Act 4, so at the end of Act 4 you can uh, buy the... Where is it? Here it is, Withering Touch. So for your Ballista Totem setup, you use Ballista Totem, Toxic Rain and Withering Touch. And this is the way you're gonna apply Wither from now on. You can still use Withering Step for uh, just few initial Wither stacks, but you can replace it with just Ballista Totem, Toxic Rain, Withering Touch and faster attacks for more Wither stacks or Vicious Projectile for more damage for Ballista Totem. It is up to you. But I think I would use Vicious Projector at first and then replace it with faster attacks in later acts because the damage is gonna fall off. Or you can use uh, Spell Totem, Wither, multiple totems, faster casting. But to be able to buy Spell Totem, you will need to be in Act 6 action, not Act 5. So I will actually. Uh, put it in this section. In Act 6 you can buy Malevolence and at that point you should have the Reservation Mastery and I'm gonna talk about the tree later. Uh, reservation Mastery so you will be able to fit Malevolence and Skitter Boots and that's gonna be pretty nice for uh, damage. And if you're gonna struggle with mana, you can remove Vitality, or you can still keep it. Or you can replace it with Clarity for a better mana sustain. And this is gonna be pretty much your setup uh, until you hit the map. So you're gonna use just Toxic Rain, Mirage Archer, Vicious Protector uh, with Void Manipulation, and later you can use Conch Effect even. For clear, Caustic Arrow, Arrow Nova, Pierce, Vicious Projectile, Ballista Totem with Withering Touch, again, or Spell Totem, Wither, Multiple Totems, Malevolence, Skitter Bots, and Grace Aura later on, once you, around, around the point you reach maps, and it's gonna depend on your mana sustain. Valgrace, later on for just some nice defense, and once you reach maps, you're gonna have enough levels on your second wind and dash that you're gonna replace your smoke mine with dash, second wind and blink arrow on top, on top, on, on top of that. Despair for just self casting the curse, steel skin for some uh, survivability on your left click and blood rage for frenzy charges. So for the tree, this is the level 12. So we're gonna go down here, then Take Primal Spirit probably first. You're gonna need the extra strength for the Vitality and Intelligence for Skitter Bots later on. And also gain mana on hit uh, is also pretty nice here. Then you're gonna take these two points for some life. You don't have to take them, but it's pretty nice. And then you're gonna start moving to the top. So I would go here, take the Aspect of the Eagle, then Primal Spirit, then Heart of the Oak. For the normal lab, you go to the top, you are taking these Chaos Nodes and Effect of Withered. Then you go to the right, take these uh, Nodes and take Bow Mastery for uh, phasing on kill and 8% movement speed while phasing. Then you... it is actually up to you, you can go either here for more damage or here to get some life so survivability and 10 percent movement speed if you haven't taken damage recently it's probably gonna be better to go here then you go to the top take some damage movement speed here and some life you can go even one 
more point in life here or even go for some life on kill spell suppression some life and here some even more life if you want to if you want more survivability go for uh, these life points if you don't want survivability you're gonna start moving here and again for the lab you're gonna take rapid assault cruel lab you're gonna start moving here take these uh, nodes for some damage and movement speed and for the mastery this is actually up to you i'm gonna test out a few things but mirage archer duration is probably pretty nice for leveling if you think about it you will not have to cast not cast attack with your mirage archer as uh, as much anymore because your mirage archer is gonna have nice duration or you can go for some aoe uh, if you're using Blink Arrow, but you probably will not be using it, you can go for cooldown recovery rate for it, or more damage if you have a Ballista Totem. This is totally up to you. I am gonna test out Mirage Archer probably at the beginning. And then you're gonna start moving to the top, take the skill duration, duration mastery. Here you can take some resistances. And actually, if you are struggling with resist, you can also take these resist points they are actually pretty nice mm, and then you can take some life nodes here and flat master is actually pretty nice because it's gonna give you remove a random non-elemental element so basically removal of bleed or you can go for the elemental element removal so this is up to you if you want to remove elemental elements go for this if you want to remove bleed go for this one but probably bleed is more annoying at that point and then right before you're gonna take malevolence so at the end of act 5 you should start putting points into the reservation mastery so that in act 6 when you're gonna take the malevolence from the vendor you're gonna be able to fit malevolence in and for the second lab you're gonna take avatar of the chase for even more onslaught effect and at that point you're gonna start putting points into spell suppression so you can take matevane for example because the next lab is gonna be course infusion so once you have course infusion you're gonna want to be spell suppression capped so you're gonna put some points in here for spell suppression again Mage Bane, depending if you need it or not, I did put it in here, but you might not even need it. You can spec out of it later. You're gonna take some survivability here. If you taken it uh, earlier, obviously you don't have to take it again. And then you go to the Constitution for even more life. And after that, you just put more points into damage here, life here, and once you have your uber lab, you're gonna take your elemental ailments and your uh, mana flask. So there is actually a lot of choices during leveling. You don't have to stick with this strict points that I had, that I took here. Again, you can go for mage ban. You don't have to. You can go for these mana points early on, even in like a cruel lab around that point for some nice mana sustain. And here you can take uh, remove a random elemental element. So you're gonna have non-elemental and elemental. Mm, you can go for even these flask nodes for some nice flask sustain. If you find some nice jewel, you can take one jewel here, maybe one jewel here. Mm, what else is there? You can even go earlier on into the life points here and you can take more life before going for something like ailments or something. You actually don't even have to go for the ailments after you do your uber lap. You can just take frenzy charges and rely on removal of ailments from your flask. So you don't even take the ailments nodes here and your lab. So there is a lot of free choice. And to be honest, even I don't know what I exactly will go for. You will have to adapt while you are leveling. And again, you can take some resistances here. And even 
around here you can take these points so eight resistances here four resistances here and you can just type resist so you can find even more and here when you take this master you can even take more resistances so 12 all elements and seven chaos here are also eight elemental resistances but that that's two points so it's probably not really worth it some people like to go to the top for uh, damage over time here life here and chaos damage here but i think that's just too many points you're wasting like one two uh, three four traveling points to get to here so that's a lot of points okay so that's gonna be it and thanks for watching see you in the next one i'm gonna make a lot of uh, leveling round on my stream so if you want to see that check my check out my stream it's zen m link is in the description so see you next time